Yeah, welcome to King of the Dot. Put your money where your mouth is. We at Ground Zero Volume 9, Toronto. Make some fucking noise, y'all. Yeah. 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 I'm yours, Gully the Kid, Saga City all day. I got a special coast with me, one of Toronto's sickest fucking rappers. Let's e go. E Philly, you already know what it is, man. At E Philly, put that shit underneath me somewhere when you edit this shit or some shit. But you already know, Scarborough Town in the building, Toronto in the motherfucking building. I want to hear some ill shit when I hear these niggas spit tonight. That's all I want to do. Yo, Let's, go. The curtain. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's Reverence North Syndicate. Rest in peace, Ryan Adamac and Free Turk, TNT. Yeah, let's go. I got a whole bunch of other calls with me. Organic, KOTDstore.com. Let's go. Buy that shit. All my don't know. Cooks, 3MF. Big up the old King of the Dot movement. Big up every Toronto artist. Scarborough, the T-Dot Saga, B-Town, all that. Saga. Don't know. It's your boy, Top Flight Swift. Follow your boy on Twitter. Swift1. You know what it is, yo. Leoli. Yeah. Let's fucking go, man. Battle of tomorrow, right? Introduce yourself. Yo, what up? It's Postal, about to welcome this creepy little faggot back to the battle scene. Let's do it. Yeah! <laughs> On my left, introduce yourself. Yo, Speakeasy905, shout outs to Korea, Chonan, Asan, I see you. Right okay. there. Woo! <laughs> we all day. Worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Postal won the coin toss. He chose Speakeasy to go first. It's 60 seconds on him. Let's fucking go. I'm drunk. Ah. <laughs> All right. Yo. Your life sucks. I'm surprised you ain't a straight alcoholic when you're straight out of college with male pattern baldness. Jeez. It's no guess that he stole shit so that nose and that crow's nest just another two things he got in common with Caustic. Stop it. No one wants to hear you rap and just whisper. When you chill with your friends, you got your cameras all with you. Go home to hit Facebook, tag them in pictures, so pretty much your crew's full of faggots and hipsters. Okay. Oh. Shit, you're not gonna beat me. Your name's Colin Martini. You look like a stashless, balding Luigi. <laughs> I rubbed your little sister like I was fucking rubbing a bottled up genie. Wait, what? <laughs> With my hands moving like I was lost in a Ouija. No. See, we at the blue moon. This next step, easy when I bully him. Punchlines feel like a hundred bullets I just put in him. But no bullets, I could go for a hundred bars. You ride a beat like a kid with stumps for arms in a bumper car. Ooh. Yo, see I'm the one in charge, puffing till my lungs are scarred. You, lyrical as kiddie pools, I'm deeper than a sunken barge. He'll die trying to escape like he's Cool Hand Luke when I choke this bald fag and have him looking like the Blue Man group. Woo! Let's go. Wait, what? Red one is on poster, let's go! Alright, right, yo, yo. I fucking hate lazy eyes. <laughs> they bother me, honestly. I bet you have people thinking you drift off in mid-conversation. Constantly. Oh. See, I can bring that comedy mixed with violent intentions, and this guy's in threatening. All I had to do was look him in that eye for a second to realize that never in his life has he given anyone his undivided attention. Oh. Yo, yo. Who's, who's giving your eyes directions? My mind is a weapon. You beat me as likely as a priest denying divine intervention while smoking a sizable session and kicking rhymes at confession. Yeah. It took him a week to confirm this battle. Homie was scared. People tell me he just got back from Korea. I'm like, when did he go over there? Well, actually, he's been. Never mind, dude, I don't really care. <laughs> Nobody cares. At best, his verses are average. How on earth did this happen? What did I do to deserve to be battling the talking worm from the labyrinth? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and we, and we both know your last battle sucked. Man, to forget that shit, you gotta smoke a lot of weed. You're like the only person I know of in the league who legitimately lost to Noah 23. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that shit wasn't even close. I thought it was a clear-cut victory, but judging by your eye, I wouldn't be surprised if you see things differently. Round two is on speakeasy, let's go. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Postal's chick is a skank. She <laughs> takes dick like a champ. He still gets lit like a lamp and licks her clit like a stamp. Oh. Her pussy's rank, but she's savage how she takes cock. 
she's always got room for another package in her mailbox. Oh, yeah. See, I stopped looking for an angle to take, a story to touch, cause I found my angle. You're fake, you're boring as fuck. You're corny, you suck, you think your rhyme scheme's endless. Bitch, you stretch your bars further than a Chinese gymnast. So with his freaking nose, he could probably smell this loss coming. Hell, if his nose starts running, we should probably all start running. Stop fronting. That freaking beak is gigantic. You could lie flat in the sea and sink the Titanic. I mean, is that a beak or just an ugly nose? Either way, it's fucking gross. You're looking like that big ass blue eagle from the Muppet Show. So, hey, so. Shut up. So, since I figured he wants to fly like a parasail, I'm a Hail Mary postal off a building. Airmail. Yo. So you could get hit with a right and left right and cry postal. This is a child versus a bike and a titan. You'll die postal. Fuck your name. I don't think this guy's loco. Fuck postal and fuck a postal strike. I will strike postal. Yeah. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Round two is on postal. Let's go. Yo, every time he goes into a hat store, he regrets it. Cause it's hard to find a fitted in his size cause his head's big. So he puts on a flex fit. But when he puts on the flex fit, he'll stretch it. To the point the elastic snaps and the threads rip. And he has to jet quick for an exit like not again, shit. <laughs> I mean seriously bro, that dome is gigantic. That shit probably rotates on its own separate axis. I bet if he can relate to any mythological character it would only be Atlas cause he also knows what it's like to have to hold up a planet. And if not a planet, that shit's a comet. His head's so big, my nose would look small if it were on it. <laughs> yo, 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 when it's clear he doesn't have girls lining up at his doorstep, I bet a hooker's the last woman you had in your bed, but hey, you gotta be willing to pay any amount of money forehead when your forehead has a forehead. <laughs> Dude, you're a 27 year old midget who's into comic books. You act and you live like a sad little kid. But before every meal, his parents have to fasten a bib. When he asks chicks if they want to come back to the crib, he means an actual crib. <laughs> Yo, so if you don't believe me, ask his parents. Yo, I'ma leave his queer ass embarrassed, cause either he's the world's first real rapping ferret or the autistic version of Neil Patrick Harris. That's yeah. yeah. time, yeah. round three, so speak yeah. easy. Yeah. You did. Yeah. I'll spit a sick of verse and leave postal a missing person. I'm fresher than dish detergent and tighter than midget virgins. And he ain't postal like packing a pistol, splitting domes, serial killing. He throws tantrums when he gets pissed, flipping bowls, cereal spilling. <laughs> so witness cold blooded murder, watch him go to work, hold the burner, go berserk. Nope, he's just a postal clerk outside the post office protesting at the picket line. Like, give us time. Picking his nose with the picket sign. <laughs> Shit, that's a nose for coke snorting. I'll leave postal post mortem. Comatose toast, just a ghost in the morning. When he goes to shows, his nose shows up moments before him. <laughs> Yo, it's, it's enormous. The poor kid was probably born with nose foreskin. Yo, see, see, you're fake. Postal soft and sweet as a hostess cake, which is what every hoe you've ever dated ate because they're overweight. Your mom is so fat she can't keep her bow legs straight. You got a conehead face without the conehead shape. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. So don't let this fake gas you up. He was never impressive. Just a retard putting in a hell of an effort. I'll get him with letters, have him dead in a second and leave and use postal to send a message to the rest of the league. That's time, yo. Uh, Round three is on the postal. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yo, when he was in Korea, he heard these girls talking about wanting to try getting with a white guy. It was a couple Asian dimes. Speak approach him quick, fast, think I'm gonna make one of these ladies mine. The girls took one look at that mug and lazy eye and quickly changed their minds. <laughs> So there's no way this little bitch is the man. I pull chicks on command. He pulls chicks into vans. I mean, I mean, true story. I mean, face it, women don't like your lisp. You frighten chicks when you look at dames. That slidey eye makes you look insane. When you write words with two eyes, 
those two eyes don't even look the same. <laughs> yo, yo, and this is a yo, this is a handicap match. Not because the guy's really slow or the size of his dome, it's just if I'm standing here rhyming alone, this is a two-on-one. Because that eye has a mind of its own. <laughs> No, no, and clearly he doesn't have a lot of wisdom. Called himself Speakeasy thinking that's a strong decision. But you must have been buzzing from drinking. A guy named Speakeasy who talks with the lisp. Man, what the fuck were What's you I thinking? thinking? <laughs> no, before this battle even started, he should have bailed mad quick. Still, his friends are convincing me one with that frail ass shit without even knowing Postal Sundom like he's the mailman's kid. Yeah. yeah. Alright, make some noise for these guys, y'all. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Back. Just had a sick fucking battle. Yeah. Postal, speak easy, make some noise for these guys. Yeah. 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 Battle. Sick battle. Judges came to a decision, and the winner is Postal. Yeah! yeah. 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 Good battle. Good battle. Yeah. Good battle. Yeah. 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 Postal and uh, speak easy, very good battle. Very funny, actually, but. That uh, Postal just took a whole three rounds. It was a lot more fun here. It was, it was a good battle still. Jayhan. Luciano Crack. I judged that one. Pretty battle rapper live. That's one at not bad. Um, yeah, I voted for Postal. I just thought every round, it came a bit better, a bit funnier. And I just had some shit. Yeah, I gave it two to one. So we got Crack and Prince Ali. Yeah, I gave it two to one for my man over here. My man Postal right here. Like, like my boy Reverend said, feed the man Turk, all the sick thugs. Feed my brother. AB, Ari Blends, G2, just finished watching Postal and Speakeasy. Good to see Speakeasy, Good to see Speakeasy back, but Postal just finished. he came with the business. Alright, yo. So, making my return, it's been like a year and a half, battle Postal. I, I wanted a good battle, I didn't want someone that's fucking whack, so that's why I took this battle. He got the battle, what can I say? Like, I, I liked my shit. I wasn't so happy with how I got my bars out, but I still got them all out. He got the victory, man. What can I say? Dude is sick. It's good to be back. King of the dot. Bam! I went up its post, so just had a good battle. Much respect to Speakeasy. He did good. Probably our best battle yet. Uh, Shouts Organic and Gully for hooking that shit up. He's gay and he's bald. Now, fuck you, you cunt. Fuck. Fuck.